Hey, what's up everybody? Um, got a 2004 Honda Civic um, LX four cylinder. We're just doing like a ignition switch slash uh, ignition lock cylinder replacement. Uh, the reason why is because, um, I'm gonna show you right here. As you go and you're putting your key, if you're kind of rough with this, um, as you're putting your key into and out of your ignition lock cylinder, um, or if you got a big keychain and it's really heavy, it'll start to wear out the inside of the ignition lock cylinder uh, assembly. And eventually, um, it's going to get harder to put your key in. And then you're going to notice that, you know, as you turn it, it's going to get hard to turn. And eventually, it just won't turn. Um, the tumblers in there get stuck, uh, get stuck on the uh, inside of the tumblers. Um, but anyway, it wears out the inside until it starts wear, uh, getting stuck on the tumblers inside it. So uh, you have to replace it. Um, sometimes they sell this as um, the ignition lock cylinder uh, in, uh, separately. So what you can do is just get the uh, ignition lock cylinder and replace that. On this 2004 Honda, they do not do that. They actually sell the assembly, uh, the ignition lock cylinder and the switch all together as an assembly. And it comes, <clears throat> looks something like this right here. So... Uh, there's your ignition lock cylinder and you know your switch is already on here it's already basically one assembly and it comes uh, something like this this is the old one I've actually already installed it um, what happened was I went out um, went somewhere to actually do a brake job uh, got to the house and uh, I was about to leave and key wouldn't freaking turn it and it had it had been acting up on me for a while you know it was getting hard to turn and stuff like that so uh, I went ahead and put a new one in. It's actually really easy to install. If you wanted to put this in, all you're gonna do is I just come down here on the bottom <clears throat> and there's a fuse box. You just turn these two knobs right here counterclockwise, pull that fuse panel off, which is sitting down here like this. Pull that off, <clears throat> throw that to the side. Um, come up under the car, you know, to the bottom. You're gonna have the uh, steering column basically a little cover right here and there's just three bolts um, I mean three Phillips head screwdrivers one right here one right here and one right there holding it in pop that off the bottom and the reason I pull the fuse box off is because to get this apart um, it might be a little difficult so what you do is you take that fuse box that fuse panel off and I grab it from the back right here and just yank it down and it'll pop the bottom right off just leaving the top cover to get this top cover off you're gonna have to lower the steering wheel down a little bit so just come over here pull down on this little uh, adjuster right here drop the steering wheel down and then you can get <clears throat> the top cover from out um, allowing you to access uh, these two also what you're gonna have to do is start disconnecting all the electrical connectors there's one right here one right here <clears throat> There's one right here, this green one here, there's another green one right here, right there, and then there's a brown one right here uh, that you got to take out. So when you're looking at it, here's your, here's your key right there. Um, you've got this one, this one, <clears throat> that need to be uh, disconnected, and, the, and then, let's see. Actually, that's it. Uh, there's just the, on the ignition switch this one, this one, and then there's this one on the bottom, this brown one. Um, and the stuff on the top, uh, you're gonna have to remove to access the uh, the bolts here on the top. So you're gonna have to disconnect these just to access these two bolts right here. Um, and they're actually not going to be uh, bolts. Um, they come. The new one is gonna come with two eight millimeter bolts that go right here. On the old one, if you look right here, the head right here, that's not a bolt. That's uh, that's kind of like riveted in there, I guess you would say. So, if I can focus here a little bit better. Okay, but you see there's no like hex head or anything like that. It's just a round, flat piece, uh, and you got to drill it out. So um, basically what I did is I just took some carbide drill bits. I didn't have a drill on me at the time. 
Uh, this kind of happened to me just right on the side of the road. So I was like, uh, let me just go grab the part. Now the part, this son of a bitch right here is not cheap. Um, they sell this as an assembly, like I said. This thing cost $479 at the dealership. Uh, they wanted like 700 600 some at advanced auto parts, plus it takes three days to ship. They had it in stock at the dealership. Um, <clears throat> so this right here was about 500 with tax. And then it comes with two new keys, which you have to get programmed at the dealership. So you still gotta have you're still gonna have to take it to the dealership to get it programmed. Um, but basically, once you drill this out, all you do is just I just you know push open that up with a pry bar and just fucking pry it back. Comes right out real easy. Um, just make sure you got everything uh, electrically unplugged. And when you install it, there is <clears throat> this right here. You got to make sure this lines up on the bottom of the steering column. There's a little slot down here uh, on the bottom of the steering column. And basically, all you got to do is line that up <clears throat> with this slot, uh, hold it on, put your little clamp. It's going to come with this little clamp that goes on top, and just hand tighten in your two 8 millimeter bolts. Um, go ahead and crank them down. And I mean, it's not going to crank up until you get the. Uh, <clears throat> Until you get the two keys programmed. So, you know, I had roadside assistance. I wasn't too far. I was in town when it happened. So, uh, you know, they towed it for free. Um, I think now what happened was they, they said at the dealership, they claimed that, you know, it would not crank up. <clears throat> uh, you know, they, they programmed the keys and it wouldn't crank up. Something about there was a check engine light on for low vo battery voltage. And, you know, it might have something to do with it. It might be the starter. It might be the battery. I was like, man, all that shit worked. The only reason I'm replacing it is because the key wouldn't turn. So, you know, they act like they don't give a shit and whatever. I don't know. I got some really fucking bad service at Brian Honda here in Fayetteville, man. They just really fucking shitty service. But, uh, <clears throat> anyways, so I dropped it off Friday afternoon just to program two keys. And they just now, what, Tuesday evening, they just, oh, we just figured out it was an ignition switch fuse um, that, you know, that powers the starter or whatever. So, um, my theory is that they actually pull the fucking ignition switch fuse themselves just so they can get an hour diagnostic fee out of me because um, it pays an hour to one point something to install this basically the same as a diagnostic fee an hour uh, and then they said oh you need a new battery too because the battery you know fucking died um, and you know you got to crank it up every time you start the vehicle which is not true I got I jumped the car when I got there I said oh fuck go ahead and, you know I'll pay the old diagnostic fee go ahead and put the new fuse in there um, and they really don't stock those fuses anywhere uh, except but the dealership. So I was like, fuck it, go ahead and put it in. I'll pay you a little $55 diagnostic fee. Because, <clears throat> um, I mean, everything was working prior to me replacing this. Um, a reason I didn't want to diagnose it because, like, you know, it's already there at the dealership. I don't have fucking, you know, their equipment, their laptop and all that. And plus, it could I felt like it could have had something to do with the keys they programmed. They might need to go back and do it again, something like that. But anyway, um, I don't know, maybe I did, you know, maybe I did fuck the fuse up, you know, when I replaced it or something. Or, you know, I, and I tried to turn the key, you know, after I replaced it just to check. Uh, so maybe I did, maybe I did. But I'm a conspiracy theory type of person and I'm always, you know, because they will do shit to you like that. You know what I'm saying? They try to sell me a battery and everything, told me it wouldn't crank up. I jumped the battery, drove it home, uh, and it's been cranking up ever since on its own. So the battery was good. You know what I mean? I was like, well, fuck, it's under warranty. You know what I'm saying? I'll get it fucking replaced for free. I'm not paying y'all $150 to put a battery in. Um, that's fucking crazy. So anyways, I don't know. Because I, I worked at shops before where motherfuckers will do shit like that to you. They'll be, uh, you know, saying, oh, you need this and you need that. And really you don't need the shit um they're just trying to make some dollars they're trying to make a buck you know what i'm saying just like i mean how hard is it to fucking put a battery in two fucking bolts and they charge you like 50 dollars put in you know this shit's crazy so anyways um <clears throat> hope you like the video I, like um like i said you, look, remember you do gotta replace the uh you do have to take have the keys program whenever you do this so i mean if you do it on your own you might want to go ahead and you know if you if it won't uh, if you can't turn the key and you know you can't get it to crank up uh, go ahead and have it towed or go maybe or if you're gonna have plan on doing it you know drive it there drive it there to the dealership then replace it there on their premises um, and then they can actually they can take the laptop out to your car without even bringing it into the shop and they can program it like that um, I don't know because they was they were really fucking I don't know they were like, oh, we ain't pushing no cars into the shop. Ain't no mechanics pushing no cars into the shop. Uh, we ain't pushing it out there at this and that. Um, I don't know. When I was, you know, I worked at Relay Chevrolet. They uh, went above and beyond to uh, 
Uh, that's one thing I will give the Chevy dealership, Revalue or Chevrolet. They they will fucking push some cars. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we'll do whatever it takes, you know, to get the job done. They act like they really don't give a shit up there at Brian Honda. But anyways, uh, not trying to throw anybody under the bus. I just call it like I see it. Uh, but anyways, appreciate you watching this video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and like the videos. Peace.